How's everybody doing today? I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It is Rana Vig, the CEO of Blue Lagoon Resources. How are you doing today, Rana? I'm doing great. Uh, thank you very much for having me on your show. Thank you for being here. Very excited to have you. And I'm excited about learning more about your company directly from you. And why don't you tell us a little bit about Blue Lagoon Resources and how you got involved? Sure. Uh, Blue Lagoon Resources is a, a relatively new company. I, I uh, 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 took it uh, to, the, uh, to, to the market uh, just a little over a year ago. July uh, 2019 is uh, when we started. Um, really, uh, uh, my background is pr predominantly private enterprise. You know, for the last uh, 30 years or 30 years plus, uh, I was involved in, uh, in private business uh, in five different startups. And uh, I got involved in the capital markets about 10 years ago in mining. And uh, frankly, uh, uh, got my rear end uh, uh, kicked pretty good because, you know, I started in 2010, 2011, put over a million bucks into the mining sector. And everything and went down. <laughs> yeah. It was, worth, it was worth about 10 grand after six months. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. What did I get myself into? But you know what? Uh, you know, I'm a big boy and uh, the sector collapsed and, you know, you lick your wounds and you get up. And uh, I uh, took over a couple of the exploration mining companies and uh, started learning the ropes because, you know, the fundamentals of business. Uh, don't change, right? Whether you're, uh, you know, uh, in a in a, running a restaurant or you know, the fundamentals don't change from from business to business. So I just learned the ropes and hung in there. And uh, and you know, the nice thing about this business is, as fast as uh, uh, you know, you can also make it back pretty quick. Yes. And, it, and in 2018, uh, you know, the cannabis sector got super hot, and I laser beam focused on that uh, sector. And in 2018, I took uh, I was very privileged to take uh, Cureleaf Public, which was I don't know if you oh, follow wow. that sector. Cureleaf was the largest uh, Canadian cannabis uh, uh, raise in history, $520 million raise and a $6 billion RTO. So I was very uh, proud to have done that. And then a couple months later, uh, I was able to do it again. I found a company called Harvest Health and Recreation out of Arizona. That was the third largest 2018 uh, with a, a $300 million raise and a $2 billion RTO. So I had a couple of these very uh, uh, you know, big wins. And uh, mining, I said to myself, has to come back at some point. And much to the surprise of my, my colleagues, uh, two years ago, I decided, you know what? Gold is the place to be next. And uh, I launched uh, Blue Lagoon Resources, uh, applied all the knowledge that I learned in the last 10 years in this business and uh, launched this uh, gold-focused company. And uh, I expect it to be my next big win. I think you're 100% correct. It's funny because I had a very similar experience because I was buying gold stocks when they were doing actually pretty well around 2015, 2016. And then they had a big collapse when cannabis did well. Yes. And I saw my portfolio disappear in gold, like literally disappear. And, and then I, I, did, I pivoted to cannabis like you, and then cannabis collapsed. And then when I look back at all my gold stocks I was holding, they all exploded. Yes. <laughs> they all exploded over the last two years. And some that were like literally 10 cents were at $5. Yes. And I couldn't believe it. And then cannabis has now come down. So it's interesting um, watching the ebbs and flows of the market and the highs and lows, but it's exciting to see that you've been able to get through it on the other side with a lot of success. Now, in saying that, what would you say are the main focuses of Blue Lagoon Resources? Well, the exciting uh, uh, things that we got going on in the company, right, it's, a bit, it's a bit unique, right? Because what we have here is we have a fully permitted uh, mine, a gold mine in Northern British Columbia, so a safe jurisdiction. And you know, it's got the environmental permits in it. It's got, uh, it's got the mining uh, you know, permits already, uh, already in place. Uh, it just needs three amendments. Uh, you know, uh, unfortunately for the, my predecessors, they ran out of time. They spent $28 million over the last dozen years uh, all in, in, in permitting and mine development, but now they're 83 years old and not in the best of health. So, you know, they needed to exit and a long, you know, entrepreneur like myself, you know, came along. So what we have going on here are, are, are two exciting things. Number one is we have a fully permitted mine that is literally at the one yard line. All right. Wow. I have a $1.5 million budget. That's it. That's the capex required now, right. To, to take it to the finish line and roughly six months work, which we've already started. And so we expect to be in some sort of a production decision by uh, this coming summer. And then we have on this 12,000 hectare property, only 10% of the property was ever explored. And we have 15 high grade veins that are already identified. So we don't have to go around searching for them. We already have historical data. We already know, you know where, they, where they exist and they're all high grade. 
So uh, we have these two uh, uh, sites to the, to the company, uh, a potential for near-term cash flow, as well as explosive uh, growth, blue sky, uh, with uh, starting to drill on these known veins, plus the uh, 90% of the property that has been yet to be explored. That's impressive. Now, I was looking at some of your news, and Blue Lagoon Resources, Inc. recently announced it hits 25.92 grams a ton gold, 169.46 grams a ton silver, over 4.52 meters. Can you please go through this news with us and what this means for the company? Because it seems like it's huge news. Yeah, look, you know, mining companies, exploration companies, I mean, how they build value, right, is by obviously proving that there's more in the ground than we currently know, right? And the beauty of what we have here is it's a high grade property. Right. So this news that we just released, as you mentioned, right, those are spectacular numbers. Right. I mean, we're talking about almost uh, three quarters of an ounce uh, per ton at a very uh, at a really good width. And that's not the only thing. If you look at our past news releases, you'll see the same thing. Right. All the, the drilling that we're doing so far, the results have, have come back. A majority of them have been, you know, 20 grams sort of plus. Right. 18, 20, 20. 30, 35, 40 grams plus. So it just reconfirms what we already believe, right? That this is a high grade property and extremely valuable. So the more drilling we do, the more we're able to confirm, uh, you know, what we already know historically. That's fantastic. Now, who would you say are Blue Lagoon Resources main competitors, if you have any, and what sets you apart from them? Well, you know, of course, there's many uh, mining exploration companies, uh, you know, out there. But I think that uh, what really sets us apart is the is the nature of the project that we have, right? I mean, you know, it takes like 20 years plus to get to a mining permit stage, right? Well, we're already there, right? We already have a, a mining permit, right? Millions of dollars have been already spent on this on on this uh, on this property. So I don't think there's many many companies that have that kind of near term opportunity. And on top of that, have a massive land package that has 15, you know, very high grade veins are known already, plus the opportunity to, ex to explore more. We recently did a, you know, we recently flew the whole property uh, that had never been done before. And I mean, the whole property just lit up with, right, with five brand new targets. Right. So there's a there's a uh, I think there's a, a, a great uh, differentiator. And then, of course, uh, you know, uh, our, our, our team, I, mean, I think that also, you know, uh, you know, makes a, diff, uh, a big difference to be able to execute on, you know, what the plan is. You know, uh, it, it's very important. You know, I'm very old school that way. It's very important to mine the farm. Right. So I'm very, very uh, frugal with the way we spend our money. OK, I'm cheap. OK, I watch all the pennies. So, you know, we're, we're cashed up. Uh, uh, we just did a seven and a half million dollar raise. So we're cashed up and, uh, you know, we have no debt. Right. So I think Oh, that's the you just made my day. I love to hear that. No debt, money in the bank. Absolutely love that. Now, one of the things that's really important to us is share structure. Mm -hmm. Our community loves a tight share structure. Can you go through your share structure and how many how many shares are held by insiders and institutions? Yeah, so, you know, I was very careful when I put this company together, you know, as I mentioned, uh, you know, all the lessons that I learned in those 10 years, one of the one of the fundamental lessons was you got to have uh, a very good and tight share structure and you better have loyal, uh, you know, uh, people who believe in you. So when I put this together, that's why, you know, those two big wins in the cannabis sector were important to me because, you know, I brought a lot of those people over, you know, uh, to uh, to this company and they believe in me, they believe in, in, in my in my vision and majority of them, uh, you know, have haven't uh, sold a single share because they, they they've truly believed that I have a big vision and a, a long ways to go. So you know we have 69 million shares out you know you know currently you know a big portion of that uh, uh, was uh, uh, done by you know myself and my my family and a handful of very close friends. In fact, uh, outside of this last financing that we did, the previous financing over two million dollars was predominantly just uh, you know a very very friendly uh, yeah, folks, right? Uh, friends and and family. Uh, and now we've done this uh, this latest financing, uh, you know, to get to get us uh, cashed up. So you know we're in good shape. Uh, you know, will some of that uh, uh, liquidity come? For sure, it will. But you know what? My background, my previous business before. 
before I got involved in, in the capital markets was marketing and, and advertising. So I'm probably one of the few CEOs in this business who understands that really there's two businesses here. There's the mining and exploration, the actual business, and then there's the business of the markets. So I'm very, very conscious of those things. And I'm not afraid to, to spend the money to create the, the, the audience because you know what, uh, 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 build it and they will come is, does not necessarily work here for these micro caps. You have to get your story out. And if you look at our stock, right, uh, you'll see there is a very little uh, uh, pressure on it generally. It's trading uh, extremely well in, in, in the 90s. And, uh, and it's because we're continuing to increase our audience and by doing interviews like this and using a lot of social media, you know, we're continuing to broaden our, our, our base which is how you make sure that the that the share structure stays, uh, you know, uh, uh, intact, and you attract uh, good, loyal, long-term uh, shareholders, and not just people who are trading the stock in and out. I agree with you a hundred percent. Now, share structure and keeping it tight is the key to having a successful stock, and marketing the securities legally and properly is the key to getting new investors into the stock. So I love hearing that, that you understand that. I get very frustrated when I speak to companies that think that the stock will just take care of itself. No. That no. doesn't exist because you're talking about a market that has 15,000 companies. That's if right. a tree falls in the forest, does anybody hear? No, because there's so many other trees. So you got to stick out when there's companies like Amazon and Apple and Tesla. How are, how are you going to get those millennials to invest in you? You got to be out there and you got to get your, your, your voice heard and you got to get noticed. And I'm glad that you recognize that. And because of that, you can see the stock has done well because you're putting in the work. It's critical, you know. Even when we took over this uh, this company, uh, this Metal Mountain uh, that has this had this project, you know, they they I inherited over twelve hundred shareholders, and wow. every Saturday I did a Zoom call with every single Saturday for many many weeks. So we had 50, 60, 70 people on these calls, and to educate them, to under to show them my, my vision. It was a lot of work, but you know what? Yeah. It be worth it because not only had did they come into the stock, not only did they come into the financing. You know, you're building a, a stronger shareholder base. I'm a very engaged CEO. I always answer all my calls from my shareholders, emails. It might take me a day or two because of the volume, but big or small, I engage with them because I think every shareholder is important and they become a point of advertising for you because you know they feel proud of the stock they're holding and they go tell 10 other people you know, about it. So I think, yeah, I think those are very, very important uh, aspects uh, to the job, right? Uh, you have to be able to uh, be able to deliver on, on, on trading a large market base, uh, which helps the company. I agree with you 100%. Now, your company, Blue Lagoon Resources, has quite an impressive roster of experts in the mining sector. Who are your key members and what do they bring to the table? Well, you know, as I mentioned here earlier, right, uh, you know, my, uh, my method of operating always is to be the dumbest guy in the room, okay? I learned a long time ago, I'm not that smart. So in any industry that I get involved with, I make sure I surround myself with the best, the biggest, the best, the brightest, right? And I've done that here, right? Uh, our first key member is Bill Cronk, our chief geologist, right? Bill uh, is, a, is a former uh, chief geologist for Dundee. He was there for many, many years, right? He was, a, uh, he was the chief geologist for uh, a gentleman by the name of John Robbins, who is one of the uh, best geologists and, and, and mining uh, CEOs, uh, rare uh, to have that combination. Uh, in the country, you know, John uh, sold Northern Empire. He's had like three exits. He sold Northern Empire uh, to uh, 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 Coors Mining, which is a New York Stock Exchange listed uh, company. Uh, I, I got Bill in between, uh, you know, jobs. So, so I tied him up. So I'm very, very fortunate to have uh, him. Uh, I have on our advisory board, I have Giannis Titos, who's a 19-year veteran of BHP, right? So brings a wealth of knowledge and contact base. In fact, you know, the airborne survey that we just uh, flew, Right, I used his contact base to bring in a, 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 a gentleman who is one of the top in the world. He's the he was the former uh, head of the airborne uh, division of BHP. You know, so wow. he's analyzing all our data. So you know, we are very solid. You know, our on our on our te on our technical side. Uh, and currently, we have uh, 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 mine miners uh, working in the tunnel right now. You know, uh, doing some uh, uh, some of the work that we need to to in order to get back uh, into uh, into the into production scenario. And these guys are like th third generation miners. I mean, they're, they're local people. They know that they know the the facility, and they're experts in what they do, which is narrow vein mining, right? So we're I'm surrounded by uh, the uh, the brightest and the best to help me execute on this plan. Rana, if there was one thing that you would want 
shareholders to know about Blue Lagoon resources or investors that are thinking about investing? What would it be? Well, I, I think what I would like to uh, uh, highlight is the fact that some of the things that we just talked about, right, that of the thousands of companies, right, when you're investing, and look, we're not the only ones, there's some great companies out there, obviously, right, but for someone like our company, right, what you want to take a look at is, right, is the property of merit, right, you know, and that's easy to show, take a look at the news releases, right, everything that we're saying is right in front there, right, these are, it, it's a, look, we're about to head into a gold super cycle, okay, yes. right, with all this chaos happening around the world, unprecedented uh, uh, money printing, you know, around the world, riots, demonstrations. This is what gold loves, okay? So when you have a company like ours that has known high grade veins, that has a permit already in place, right? That just is literally at the one yard line, right? And then, you know, that has uh, a management team has been there, done that, right? Uh, you know, those are key uh, uh, factors that I think that differentiate us when you're making a, a, a decision to invest or not in invest. I believe we're right up there uh, in the very top uh, of the list, uh, or at least should be for most investors. Very good. And we're going to have investors from all over the world watching this video. What is the best way for shareholders uh, joint venture partners, institutional investors to get in contact with you or the company? Uh, I'm very accessible. Uh, my, my number is in most, uh, in, all, in all of the uh, news releases. Uh, also, the easiest probably is if, they, if people just go to our website, which is bluelagoonresources.com and just email me from there. Uh, it'll make its way you know, to me. And I'm, I'm happy to engage in, in a discussion and answer questions. Uh, that's probably you know, the, uh, the best way to, uh, to get a hold of me. That's great. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Rana Big, the CEO of Blue Lagoon Resources. Everybody put it on your watch list, put it on your radar. I think this is a company that may be very undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and has huge growth potential. So thank you so much for your time today, Rana. And I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks again for uh, having me. Thank you. And thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a nice day.